artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has been the hottest buzzword in the recent years. AI has been excelled at many different fields such as medical sector, entertainment, e-games and the list goes on. So in this video, let's look at the top 10 achievements of artificial intelligence. So without a further ado, let's get started. Number 10. Artificial Intelligence System Capable of Developing a Scientific Theory At Tufts University in Massachusetts, computer scientists and biologists programmed a computer to analyze the data gathered from numerous studies that focused on a mystery about a flatworm called a planarian that has been puzzling biologists for 120 years. After three days of trial and error guesses, the computer discovered that the process required three known molecules and two proteins that were previously unknown. Number 9. Writing Poetry Although AI can beat in incredible complex games, it still can't communicate very well. Google's DeepMind wanted to tackle the issue and fed its AI more than 11,000 unpublished books. Using the information provided, Google's AI created a few poems that may not be the best ones you have ever read, but that will certainly blow your mind, taking into account a computer wrote them. Number 8. Beating Humans on IQ Tests So far it's clear that AI can learn, but some of the hardest tasks it ever faced were analogies, synonyms and antonyms, as one word can have a variety of different meanings. Yet researchers from Microsoft and the University of Science and Technology of China built an AI that could outperform the average human on IQ tests. The test contains of three categories of questions, which are logical questions, mathematical questions and verbal reasoning questions. A sample study with 200 humans found that computer outperformed the average adult and that it reached the level of people with master degrees. Number 7. Beating Professionals at Poker Game In April 2015, Cladico, an AI bot, played high-stakes Texas Hold'em with professional poker players. It taught itself how to play the game by playing against itself and even though it didn't win the tournament. Following Cladico's footsteps, Liberators, Another AI bot played trillions of hands with itself to be able to play for humans heads up. After 120,000 heads, Liberator is finally able to win against humans. Number 6. Sophia Sophia is an artificial intelligent social humanoid robot developed by a company named Hanson Robotics. Sophia was activated on Feb 14, 2016 and made her first public appearance at South by Southwest Festivals in Texas. It is able to display more than 50 facial expressions. Number 5. IBM Watson, the supercomputer. Watson is an IBM supercomputer that combines artificial intelligence and sophisticated analytical software for optimal performance as a question answering machine. In 2011, Watson challenged two top ranked players of Jeopardy and famously beat them. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. What do you say we play Jeopardy? Let's get right into the Jeopardy round. These categories, a man, a plane, a canal, Erie, Chicks Dig Me, children's book titles, My Michelle, MC5, and finally, vocabulary. Ken, you're in the first position. Please make a selection. Oh, I've never said this on TV. Chicks Dig Me for 200, please, Jimmy. <laughs> Kathleen Kenyon's excavation of this city mentioned in Joshua showed the walls had been repaired 17 times. Watson. What is Jericho? Correct. 400, same category. This mystery author and her archaeologist hubby dug in hopes of finding the lost Syrian city of Urkesh. Watson? Who is Agatha Christie? Correct. Same category, 600. At the Olduvai Gorge in 1959, she and hubby Lewis 
found a 1.75 million year old Australopithecus boisei skull. Watson? Who is Mary Leakey? You're right. 800, same category. Harriet Boyd Haas was the first woman to discover and excavate a Minoan settlement on this island. Watson? What is Crete? Yes. Let's finish Chicks Dig Me. <laughs> at, Mount, at Mount Carmel in Israel, Dorothy Garad was the first to find this prehistoric human skeleton outside of Europe. Ken. What is Neanderthal? You're right. Let's go to children's books titles for 200. Marjorie Williams' story of a stuffed toy that comes to life, the blank rabbit. Brad. What is Velveteen? You're right. Um, MC5 for 200, please. He's worth every penny as Alfred Pennyworth in The Dark Knight. Brad again. Who, who is Michael Caine? You're right. Uh, MC5 for, let's jump down to 800, please. Edgar Degas' style influenced that of this female American Impressionist. Brad. Who is Mary Cassatt? Correct. And MC5 for a thousand. The film Gigi gave him his signature song, Thank Heaven for Little Girls. Watson. Who is Maurice Chevalier? Correct. Same category, 400. The parents of this 52nd governor of New York immigrated to the United States from Salerno, Italy. Watson. Who is Mario Cuomo? Correct. Let's finish MC5. This child star got his first on-screen kiss in My Girl. Ken? Who's Macaulay Culkin? Correct. Uh, children's book titles, 400. By Judith Vjorst, Alexander and the Terrible, Terrible, No Good, Blank, Blank Day. Ken? What is very bad? Correct. Book title, 600. By Dr. Seuss, The Blank Hats of Bartholomew Cubbins. Ken again. What is 500? You're right. Uh, book titles, 800. By Maurice Sendak, in the blank kitchen. Ken? What is night? Correct. Book title is 1,000. A classic by Crockett Johnson, Harold and the Blank Crayon. Watson? What is purple? Correct. Taking you to 4,400. Number four, a movie trailer crafted by an artificial intelligence. Film editors from 20th Century Fox have teamed up with the IBM's AI system to create the trailer for the film called Morgan, and this is what it made. It's first birthday. It? It exceeds our, our wildest expectations. Nice to meet you, Morgan. Nice to meet you, Lee. I have a 13-year-old daughter. You don't get to see her much anymore. <laughs> Skip, don't go in there, okay? Don't, what? Don't you go down there, Skip. Don't be afraid, Amy. <laughs> I have to go say goodbye to mother. Number three, artificial intelligence smashes human beings at Dota 2. Elon Musk's non-profit artificial intelligence startup, which is called OpenAI, achieved a pretty remarkable feat. Every year, the game developer Valve hosts the competition for expert players of the game Dota 2, a popular online multiplayer game. The competition hosts professional players from all around the world all fighting for a 20 million grand prize. Last year, there was a special guest computer who wasn't human. It was an AI trained by engineers of Elon Musk's startup OpenAI, and the rest is history. Number 2. Google Duplex Announced at this year's I.O. developer conference, Google Duplex is a new assistant feature that can carry out specific tasks for you over the phone. Google demonstrated the technology during its I.O. keynote. The tech giant played two recordings of calls made to a restaurant and a hair salon, showing how the feature works in action. Check them out. How oh, can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. 
sure. Give me one second. Mm-hmm. Sure. What time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. Number one. AlphaGo AlphaGo is made by Google's DeepMind division. AlphaGo AI algorithm beat a human in the world's hardest game. This is a historic moment in computer science and artificial intelligence. Let's have a quick look at that. In challenge of artificial intelligence. Everything we've ever tried in AI just falls over when you try the game of Go. The number of possible configurations of the board is more than the number of atoms in the universe. AlphaGo found a way to learn how to play Go. So far, AlphaGo has beaten every challenge we've given it. But we won't know its true strength until we play somebody who is at the top of the world, like Lisa Dong. A match like no other is about to get underway in South Korea. They said all is to go what Roger Federer is to tennis. Just the very thought of a machine playing a human is inherently intriguing. The place is a madhouse. Welcome to the Deep Mind Challenge. The whole world is watching. Can Lee Sedol find AlphaGo's weakness? Ooh. Whoa. Oh, is there, in fact, a weakness? The game kind of turned on its axis. Well, look at his face. That is not a confident face. It's developing into a very, very dangerous fight. Ooh, hold the phone. Lee has left the room. In the end, it is about pride. I, I think, think there's something went wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's made a mistake. He's got to pronounce it America. These ideas that are driving AlphaGo are going to drive our future. This is it, folks. If you take a look at the macro picture in all of this, after many decades of trying to build smarter computers and algorithms, it turns out that the best blueprint is in our heads the whole time. The human brain. So naturally, our minds are capable of so much. It just depends on how we use it. And that's it for this video. Comment down if I missed anything. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, peace out.